हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम संजना कबटगी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग ए आई टी एम बड़गावे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट एवोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टोरेज आर्किटेक्चर लेटस अंडरस्टैंड एवोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टोरेज आर्किटेक्चर सो हिस्टोरिकली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैड सेंट्रलाइज कंप्यूटर्स दट आर कॉल्ड दैट कैन बी मेन फ्रेम्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोरेज डिवाइस सच एस टेप्स रील्स एंड डिस्क पैक्स इन दे डेटा सेंटर सो द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ ओपन सिस्टम्स देर अफोर्डेबिलिटी एंड ईज ऑफ डिप्लॉयमेंट मेड इट पॉसिबल फॉर बिजनेस बिजनेस यूनिट्स और डिपार्टमेंट्स टू हैव देयर ओन सर्वर्स सर्वर्स एंड स्टोरेज सो इन अर्लियर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ ओपन सिस्टम्स द स्टोरेज वॉज टिपिकली इंटरनल टू द सर्वर so these storage devices could not be shared with any other servers so this approach is referred to as server centric storage architecture we can see this in the next figure uh, so this server centric architecture each ser in this server centric architecture each server has a limited number of storage devices and any administrative task such as maintenance of the server or increasing storage capacity might result in unavailability of information the proliferation of departmental servers in an enterprise resulted in unprotected unmanaged fragmented islands of information and increased capital and operating expenses so in this figure you can see that each department has its own server so this is this uh, figure shows server centric architecture and this uh, server data it cannot be shared with any other department so each department has to maintain its own server and all that maintenance and everything uh, has to be updation and maintenance of the server has to be done by that their own department so to overcome these challenges storage evolved from server centric in or uh, server centric to information centric architecture so in this architecture storage devices are managed centrally and independent of all other servers so these centrally managed storage devices are shared with multiple servers so when a new server is deployed in an environment the storage is assigned from the same shared storage devices to that particular server so the capacity of shared storage can be increased dynamically by adding more storage devices without impacting the information availability so in this architecture the information management is easier and it is also cost effective so the storage technology and architecture continue to evolve which enables storage organizations to consolidate protect optimize and leverage their data to achieve the highest return on information assets in this figure you can see there is one common central storage wherein we have multiple storage devices and these storage devices are connected to different servers of different departments through the storage networks so all the data from each of the department will be maintained centrally so even if i want to increase the storage capacity of this uh, uh, network i can add one more storage device to this okay without affecting the information availability to the other storage uh, information available to the other servers okay if i want to add one more server to this i can directly add one more server and connect that particular server to the storage devices through the storage network so this will help in uh, maintaining the data availability all the time to other servers so the deployment of a uh, new server or removal of uh, any other server will not affect the information availability to the servers which are working in the next video we shall study uh, the uh, data center infrastructure thank you for watching